What's up, trading friends? Welcome back to yet another video. I'm Sabrom from Trial Trader Team, guys. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing Tupperware to a symbol TUP. We're going to be talking about what is happening in this stock from a technical perspective. And also, we're going to be reading an article that is extremely anti Tupperware. And I'm going to be telling you guys why this article is anti Tupperware and what to look out for when it comes to surfing the internet, looking for articles, looking for resources, looking for sources of information when it comes to your trading. So with that being said, my friends, hit the thumbs up button because this video is going to open your eyes to many things and it's also going to inform you regarding the technicals of Tupperware. So with that being said, let's just jump right into it. I'm going to pull up my charts right now. We're going to go, uh, if it decides to pull up, there we go. We're going to go three, three, two, one, and action. Beautiful. So let me just move my screen there. Perfect. So here we have the Tupperware chart, guys. Now, from a technical perspective, we previously drew these lines of support and resistance over here for this stock, right? This support level going all the way back to over here, over here, over here, and also over here. So, from a from a you know support perspective, it looks like it's gonna come back down. Okay, it looks like it's gonna come down, test this 475, 470 ish levels, right? And then maybe from here it will build back up from it. But honestly, guys, I am not too bullish on this stock, right? I am not too bullish on this stock, right? When we go to our, um, you know, I'll, I'll, when we go to our Discord, right? I was actually talking on the Discord to a member, if I can just find it here. I think it was Sarah, right? Sarah basically told me what to look out for, right? And she asked whether what, at what price should she buy um, Tupperware, right? And I basically told her, I was like, look, Sarah, if you're holding, I suggest sell some about $5. And then repurchase again if it breaks six if it breaks above six dollars six dollars being that level of resistance over here right 586 ish six dollars range right is that strong strong level of resistance okay now and then when we go over here right going back to what i was saying to her right so i said that um right and then buy above that again right and then because that's the level that it, if it breaks that level if it breaks the six dollar levels it would likely test 725 again right but if it doesn't break the six dollar level TUP run is likely over and it'll be headed down to the mid, mid $3 levels. Now, why did I say this, right? Why did I say this? Guys, because you need to understand that the Tupperware glory is fading, right? There's a saying that goes, glory is fleeting. Glory is fleeting. And I think it's um, obscurity is forever or something like that, right? I think, I think it's like that. Right? I think that's the quote. But the point being, glory is fleeting. What does glory fleeting means? It means that for a stock to keep the attention of retail traders, for a stock to have the minds and hearts and the wallets, aka the portfolio money, aka the buy button of traders, it needs to be moving actively, okay? It needs to have 20% days, 10% days, 15% days. Stocks cannot take a breather. They cannot take a breather. Why can't they take a breather? Because tomorrow there's gonna be a new Tupperware. Just like Tupperware replaced another stock, right? Guys, we, you know, it's been a while. I understand that it's been a while since we've gotten a stock which people have been excited about. I get it. But you need to understand how these stocks play out, right? I've been here. I've been trading for over six years now, okay? I know how these stocks come and go. I know how quickly the market changes and switches and flips on a single stock. And I know that Tupperware traders have a lot to worry about okay because that time stop loss that we talk about so often is ticking okay the time ticking bomb it's ticking right now for this stock you know personally i am going to open some short positions on it if it gets above you know if it gets above you know this this 560 levels ish again okay let's say 560 ish i'm gonna open a short position on it right and then if it breaks above six dollars with a stop loss at six dollars 610 615 ish okay so right now for me it is a little bit too late to play the stock long even though even though look i can't lie to you guys that this movement over here it's not bad okay it's not bad it's a pullback as long as it's available it's available to hold 475 or at worst at worst 420 if it breaks below 420 you Tupperware guys are fucked, okay? And I'm saying you guys because we don't have a position on it, right? We already previously had a position on it. We closed our positions and we brought in some good earnings. In fact, my boy over here, he actually posted their earnings. If we go down over here, he says, Sam, originally had puts, watch your video last time, watch the bounce of 313 support today and a rocket. Thanks, my dude, right? This is Tupperware 82% gains, okay? So with that being said, though, right? With that being said, it's you know we we've already took our trades also guys this is our discord check it out it gives you access to my trade alerts it gives you access to my lessons 
right? And um, yeah, it, it's really good because it also, you can always book a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me and hop in a call with me. And I can go over your trading and kind of help you out with your blind spots, whether or not, you know, what's what you do well, what you do bad, and how to actually get you to a profitability place, okay? A place of profitability like I am myself as a trader. Now, with that being said, right now, we are also holding a limited promotion where the next 10 people that join get access to it for a 50% discount. So if you guys are interested, check it out right now, okay? Because right now is a good time to join because it's also 50% discount. But even if those spots are filled out, guys, I still highly suggest you guys join paying the full price because if you're really trading with anything more than $3,000, I think that when it comes to our position sizing and our trade, you are going to see a lot of return on your investment okay if you're trading with anything above three thousand dollars in your portfolio okay if you're trading with less than that i think that you know spending spending at least paying the full price okay paying the full price is really not worth it okay i would rather because that is really a big piece of your portfolio already if you're trading below with less than three thousand dollars so to me it's not necessarily worth it and you know what if you're trading with less than that, my email is attached. Send me an email and I'll just hook you up. I'll send you the Discord link for free, okay? But if you're trading with more than that, I'm telling you it's worth it. Check it out. And also, let's say you check it out and you don't like it. Bro, it's first month money back guarantee, okay? I got you guys covered. It's first month money back guarantee. You don't like it. You get to leave and you get your money back, okay? So check it out, guys. The link is in the description. But I'm telling you whether it's the trade lessons or it's, you know, our trade alerts or whatever it is. People love the community, they keep coming back, okay? So check us out, guys. The link is in the description. Now, going to Tupperware and regarding this um, article that I was talking about, the article is written by, written, written. It's written by the clown, com the clown community, okay? The clown community, aka the Motley Fool, okay? I mean, these guys, they are just, they are just, any money these guys make is either from clickbait titles or from hedge funds. That's it, okay? That's it. And let that, let that present you a picture of where these guys' mind is coming from, from a giving you guys information type beat, okay? From a giving you guys information perspective. Just let me, just tell, just explain to me, right? So first things first, they just want, they just want clickbait, right? Three stocks to avoid this week. Of course, Tupperware is up there. Tupperware stock has rocketed to Skyward in the last three weeks, but the business is still flawed, okay? Why, right? Why? Now, once again, like I said, these guys are heavily funded by hedge funds. This is what hedge funds do. You need to understand, this has been a hedge fund tactic for many years now, right? It is called short and distort. You short a stock and then you shit on it with media, with buying media outlets and media promotions. That's it, okay? That's it, and guess what? An idiot, not like you, because you're watching Top Trader Team, congratulations, hit the subscribe button, join the family. An idiot who doesn't watch Top Trader Team reads this and goes, oh, analyst. Analysts said analysts fuck the analysts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said it. I said it. Analysts don't know shit, bro. If you know anything about anything, if you if you actually read, if you have ever consistently paid attention to what analysts say and how stocks play out, you realize that analysts are so wrong all the time. That's like it, it doesn't even make sense that they make any money analyzing anything. It's like what where did that what what happened to that analysis that showed this was gonna like you know what i'm saying like it's crazy okay it's crazy so but unfortunately there's a lot of people that believe this bull crap right and they're gonna read this and they're gonna believe that oh tupperware is a really bad company but no shit oh tupperware is going bankrupt no shit you didn't know that everybody knew that however the reason why we're buying tupperware the reason why we're doubling down on tupperware is because of its short interest. Now, I'm not saying we are. Whoa, chill. But why people are, is because of its short interest. Is because we want to see a short squeeze. Not because we believe that this company that's on the verge of bankruptcy is going to all of a sudden turn things around and become the next freaking Tesla. No, because we want the squeezy squeezy, okay? We want that BBBY action. You guys remember BBBY? Let's go to BBBY, right? Because a lot of people want to bring up bankruptcy. Like, bankruptcy isn't a great trading opportunity, right? But then you go to a stock like BBBY, and you see these massive moves, man. You see the stock go from four dollars to thirty dollars again, right? You see it go from a dollar forty to freaking six dollars, right? These massive, massive opportunities. Okay, so with that being said, right, bankruptcy isn't always a negative thing when it comes to a trading perspective. Okay, but personally, I do think that a long-term short position in top of where will actually lead you some profits. Okay, but let's get it. It says you never know where the next meme stock will come from. But it's fair to bet that it's it's a household name that just happens to save a deteriorating business. 
Tower Rands has become the became the latest trouble stock shooting higher. Shares of the f uh, food store specialists have soared more than sevenfold over the last three weeks. The business model is still broken. It did secure a life extending debt restructure deal. This is what we previously covered with its creditors last late week, but it comes at a price. The arrangement provides uh, some near term wiggle room in terms of liquidity, but it comes with dilution, right? And dilution matters, right? Dilution is really important because it goes ahead and it messes with the float of the stock and it also messes with the stock from a short squeeze perspective. But regardless, Tupperware right now does have a lot of trading opportunity for us even if it is from a short perspective, okay? So be mindful of that, right? And remember, next time you read an article, dig a little deeper, okay? Dig a little bit deeper. I'll tell you guys some of the hedge fund backed um, companies. So the Motley Fool is one of them, right? Um, let's see what else, what else is there, right? Market Watch, Market Watch articles can also be funded by hedge funds. Um, Benzinga Safe, Motley Fool is definitely, yep, Motley Fool we already talked about. And there was another one as well. It was Investor Place. Investor Place articles can also be funded by hedge funds. Seeking Alpha articles can also be art, uh, can also be funded by hedge funds because you need to understand that a lot of these articles are analysis opinions, okay? Analysis opinions. They're biased analyses based off of a short perspective or a bull perspective depending on what the hedge funds are pushing. Okay, so it's extremely important for you guys to be mindful when it comes to actually analyzing data, when it comes to studying the stock market, right? Because you need to understand that any source of information that you're, you need to be able to analyze the biases of the source of information that you're digesting information from, right? Because if you're not able to actually do that, then you're blindsided and you're just falling for every single narrative change that anyone wants to feed you, right? And you're taking everything as facts. Okay, so be mindful of that. With that being said, my friends, I hope you guys found value in today's video. As always, I look forward to seriously talking to you on the Discord. So hit down below, guys, and um, check us out. Okay, check us out. Like I said, next time people take the discount, and it's also first time for the next NFT. So there's not much to risk for you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good trading. As always, my friends, eat, sleep, trade, repeat. Your boy Sam from Top Trade.